wow, really? <laughs> um, it's already dark. First thing I vlogged today because I had to go to work again, that wonderful place that we all unfortunately have to go to that deters us from haunting or actually just kind of gets in the way. Anyway, um, a majority, I forgot to mention it last night, a majority of yesterday or for quite a while and also um, today, this evening, I've been making a list of all the haunt actors, dates, times, email addresses, phone numbers, names, where uh, they found the contact from so that we know if they're like friends or family or if it's like a cold contact kind of thing. Um, and I've also been setting up interviews. So far there's three interviews for haunt actors lined up for tomorrow. I probably won't end up vlogging them because you know how people are with the camera, but that is one thing I'm going to tell them is that I vlog. Uh, so anyway, uh, very busy as far as that's concerned, but not really vlog worthy because you know you guys don't want to sit there and like watch me type on a computer. <laughs> outside about ready to hopefully get some kind of roof type material up here I took the plastic and I put it over this stuff last night because it was about ready or I thought it was going to sprinkle and better safe than sorry weirdest thing guys weirdest thing in Washington this time of the year it is hold on I had to knock on wood because it's usually raining like all the time and our weather has been so beautiful for the last month we haven't had any rain for last month except one day that like kind of sprinkled we've really really lucked out as far as the build is concerned i'm worried about the roof <laughs> over the solarium and the basement and the kitchen area um, i still have some tweaking peaking to do to the roof material over the foyer um, other than that everything should be okay and like i said i got to get the roof on this i'm gonna grab some two by fours from out front and get like trucking on it because there's no time like the present and time is not on our side. About an hour and a half later and a trip to Office Depot because I ran out of printer cartridge ink and I had to print out the the actor thing that I just got through talking about. Anyway, look how tall that is. That is so cool. And basically what I'm doing guys is I'm just going to make the roof go from there down at an angle that way all the water goes towards Popcorn's run. Poor doggy. And uh the actor cove back over here, or the egress basically, right in here, I'm thinking of extending the plastic over the top and dropping it down on top to on top of another piece of plastic that's going to go from here all the way over to this bar here, but it's not going to be flat. I'm thinking of let it, letting it like go like this on this end, this end right here, so that the water will actually all come down here. All right, so I got this last one up. And I got some plastic up. Um, there's only a couple staples holding it up, so hopefully we don't get any wind tonight. And I come home tomorrow and it's like all torn down. That would suck, because it took a long time to put that up. Anyway, I'm uh, going to go in and watch Hot Set, and then we'll cut some COC. And ooh, ooh, um, had a conversation with Dana Martin about haunt actors, so uh, stay tuned for that. Mail call. And who's it from? Emerald Gypsy Heart. And what is it? I don't know. It's a box. <laughs> oh, well, show us what it is. It's uh, two bibs. Halloween bibs. It says boo. Aw. It says uh, peekaboo. Um, my first Halloween bib. How cool is that? It says vampire on it. Ooh. Vampire ring. Ooh. <laughs> there he Oh, goes. how freaking awesome is that? Oh, this could be our wedding ring, Troy. <laughs> no, we're not getting married, but I love the ring. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wear it this this Halloween, but I have um, a Halloween shirt that has the same lips on it with the blood, and it says, bite me. <laughs> cool. And it would have gone perfect with that, but I can't wear it. Because it's for me when I'm in my thin form. Ah. <laughs> That's so cool, though. 
That is awful. I love it. <laughs> Halloween socks. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, look. And the little elephant guy it matches the elephant guy. Oh, cool. <laughs> that is so cute. It's a teeny little spoon. That is so cute. Thank you so much. Love it. That is so cool. Thank you. That that's just awesome. I was just looking. Um, I was thinking, just when I was looking at this, I, I have to fill out my birth plan before I go see the doctor tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I have to get on buying stuff for the baby. <laughs> and we've got to get ready. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, by the way, routine maintenance. Or I'm stuck in automotive land. Sorry. Routine checkup. Just to let you guys know. So, guys, I talked to Dana Martin this evening because we're having auditions tomorrow. She's excellent at managing um, actors in a haunt. Uh, she's a haunt mom herself for two different pro haunts. And I just wanted to get her, her take on things. Uh, she said some things to ask are their level of comfort in acting. And what that means is, are they looking for a main role, a supporting role, or like behind the scenes? The difference in those is a main role uh, would have speaking lines, and also you want to find somebody that is um, able to be really spontaneous so that they can interact with the crowd, so they're not just repeating the same line every night. They know the backstory, so they know the lines and they can interact with the crowd make sure that they're comfortable doing that um, number two um, supporting roles would be like uh, actors that don't speak um, like drop panels and whatnot like that and also three behind the scenes is kind of uh, self-explanatory also you need to check out their availability um, see if they have prior experience if they've ever had like drama or acting classes if they've ever done makeup, um, if they've ever worked in a haunt, and see if they'd be interested in working like next year for you also. Also ask if they have any latex allergies, that's important. And if you have more than one actor in a room that you're interviewing, um, do some charades. Have them do some improv to see how spontaneous and their ability to uh, adjust and react to the crowd. Um, because you can find your lead roles that way. And then also ask if they have any weird traits, such as can they make interesting sounds, can they growl, hiss, scream, you know, have fun with it. So anyway, those are some really important um, tips. And so Dana, if you by chance watch this, thank you very much for taking the time to, uh, to you know, sit down with me for a couple minutes and talk. And also guys, uh, check her out on DanaMartinWriting.com or on Facebook, Scary Girls Haunt Management. And just a side note, I can't remember if I mentioned this the other day or not, but the backstory is now available in print on the website, so if you guys want to go and actually read the backstory, go to HalloweenHellmouth.com and check it out. It's at the bottom of the page. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's time for commenting on comments. Yay! Ooh, I hit the remote. That could have been bad. Oh. Hi, Collie. <laughs> she was like about to kiss you on your ear. I was waiting for her to do it. Chris25 to fur. The concrete for the prop car looks like cemetery markers. Did you plan that? No, I didn't, but it's kind of cool. It's crazy warm how it still looks by you, Troy. Are you sure it's not midsummer? Um, sometimes it almost feels like it, but the nights are starting to get chilly, and it's starting to get darker earlier. You know, it's weird, It's even in the past week, it, it's been warmer than it was almost the entire summer last summer. Yeah, very true. It took us two years to actually get summer. I'm just glad it's lasting. I believe a new commenter, Talon35. Dear Troy, where do you get your black plastic? Very simple response, Lowe's. Dabit353, wondering since you will be selling stuff whether Lakewood requires a license or something. Just thinking out loud. Um... No. Yeah, so anyway, um, Stephanie Allen. No, uh, kids sell stuff on the side of the road all the time. They sell lemonade. People have yard sales and apartments and houses and stuff. Nobody gets a freaking license for that. 
Stephanie Allen, I was thinking for the gray matter you could use cell cellulose clay. Sorry, I stuttered. It's for paper mache products. This is gray fluffy stuff that you get wet. Think spit wads that kids used to put in the bathroom at school. It will stick to the walls if you fling it on there, and it's easily removable afterwards so your panels can be reused without much effort. It's cheap, and you can get it at the craft store. I believe that I know exactly what you're talking about. Like big ol' spit wads. <laughs> oh, welcome Nightmare. Are you guys still dealing with the cat tearing holes in your roof, or has it stayed away? Ever since I, like, shot at it that night, I haven't noticed any new holes or anything up top, so hopefully I scared the little living bejesus out of it. But, we have still seen it roaming the neighborhood. It's like the, the sinister kitty. Yeah, I, well, I go out there and chase it every time I see it. Yeah, okay. Get out of there. Get the kitty. Get the kitty. Get the kitty. <laughs> Tej Mache. I would say that if Lori Lee got mad at you, she would probably rather sleep in the haunt since it's so awesome. Deprive you of awesomeness. She must. No. Too many spiders? <laughs> Too many spiders. You can go out there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, no arguments. <laughs> Jake Pugh, have you thought about doing a video to entertain the people in line? No, I haven't thought about that because I don't really have a TV monitor to do that, and then we would also have to keep it dry, and the line... It's going to be constantly moving anyway. Yes, and if anything, if we have enough actors, or if we have the right actor, then we'll have some Q-Line entertainment. HHN Survivor. Is there a website with all the requirements and rules of running a pro haunt business? I don't know of one specifically, so if you guys want to post it down in the comments um, and then uh, you guys can just go and take a look at the comments. Um, but no, specifically I don't know of one. And the primary reason is because um, you know, you've got national builders code and whatnot, but a lot of things vary from city to city, state to state, etc. County to county. Sherrick97 do you make the flyers with rip-off numbers? I was going to do that, the flyers that I'm leaving, you know, for actors at the schools. Um, but, no, I just put on there, I put a note that said, use your cell phone, take a picture of the flyer. Save trees. It'll last longer. Yeah, it'll be right <laughs> on the phone. Like, I went to go get, um, when we went to go get Troy's glasses, I found a pair of frames that I love. I turned it to the side and took a picture of the tag. Don't have to write anything down. That's right there on the phone. Nice. So I said, take a picture of the flyer. Good to go. <laughs> That's what I love about you. You're always thinking. <laughs> I thought my brains were leaking out a little earlier, so I had to get a towel and wipe it up. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Two super jumpers. New commenter. Yes. Great job. You have hooked me this year. And I, uh, I'm starting my first haunted house in my two-car garage. It's not going to be big because I have three days to put it up with a very little budget as I am 13 years old. What was the cheapest prop that you got? The most sc scarce. Greetings from uh, BC Canada. I would say the cheapest thing that you could do is go for shock value. Obviously, you know, do up your scenes or whatever and they can be really simple. And congratulations on doing that for the first time and taking on such a large project and only 13. That's really cool. Yeah, that is cool. Drop panel. Easy, quick scare, and a lot of people don't see it coming. And it's fairly cheap. Tia Mella, are you guys having a crazy windstorm too? It's been insane here. I had to take my props down. So I'm going to start again Nick, on uh, the weekend. Well, where are you? Plan for windstorms. We're going to have heavy ones this year, and whatever props you have, put them out there, sustain them. Vision? Yes, I'm Are psychic. You like, uh... No, I know this. Mark my words. Mark my words. It's in the vlog right now. I was doing plastic outside tonight, and the wind was picking up. I'd actually stapled one side, and it pulled up. That's why I'm kind of thinking it's all going to be gone in the morning or something like that. Round with tall. Okay, Troy, you're running a bit late, aren't you? Weren't you supposed to start the front yard part of the haunt on the 1st of October? Yes, I'm running way, 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 way behind. Way behind. Um, I mean, you guys know what I still have to do. If you do haunts, you know that there's a still a crap ton that needs to get done. Um, so. And Laura Lee over here has been feeling the greatest. <sighs> so I haven't, I haven't been out there the past couple of days, so I haven't been feeling the greatest. Yeah, you need to rest. So. What I need to do is, as soon as I get home, I need to be out there. Dinner. Out there. 
everything out there. Bathroom out there. No. <laughs> Gross. Shower with the garden hose. <laughs> Then you're not sleeping in my bed. <laughs> you can sleep in Charlotte's bed. <laughs> eh, nah, too old. <laughs> yeah, anyway, guys, happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. Happy haunting. I don't think this is the hell mouth anymore, Toto.